In nature, trees that grow up in a windy environment become stronger as winds whip around a young sapling. Forces inside the tree do two things. First, they stimulate the roots to grow faster and spread farther. Second, the forces in the tree start creating cell structures that actually make the trunk and branches thicker and more flexible to the pressure of the wind. These stronger roots and branches protect the tree from winds that are sure to return. My young friends, the world will not glide calmly toward the second coming of the Savior. The scriptures declare that all things shall be in commotion, more concerning than the prophesied earthquakes and wars are the spiritual whirlwinds that can uproot you from your spiritual foundations and land your spirit in places you never imagined possible, sometimes without your hardly noticing that you have been moved. The worst whirlwinds are the temptations of the adversary. Sin always has been and always will be a part of this world, but it has never been so accessible, insatiable, and acceptable. There is, of course, a powerful force that will subdue the winds of sin. It is called repentance. How do you prepare for your whirlwinds? Remember, it is upon the rock of our Redeemer, who is Christ, the Son of God, that you must build your foundation that when the devil shall send forth his mighty winds, his shafts in the whirlwind, when all his hail and his mighty storm shall beat upon you, it shall have no power to drag you down because of the rock upon which ye are built. This is your safety in the whirlwind.